Hey folks, Mark here. Um, we are on the trails today in a uh, nature park pretty close to my house. I guess about a 20 minute drive. Um, they have a, a nice little loop here that's about five kilometers round. We're gonna be doing that one today. Uh, and, we're, and there's a nice wetlands we can go through and check out. Uh, but my whole uh, reason for coming out here today is actually te to test out some of these new clothes I got. Um, it's been really, really hot here in my area. So hot, in fact, that uh, that um, just going outside has been kind of tough. So I've decided to up my game a little bit, and I picked up a few items. Uh, we're going to go over that, and we're going to talk a little bit about how uh, how well it works, and um, if they're actually worth uh, buying. So uh, I'm going to go show you around a little bit, and then we're going to get into the clothing. We'll talk about the clothing and some choices that you can make to keep you cool on uh, really hot days, and uh, the value of these items. So. Um, Let's go hit the trails and I'll show you around. That's where we're going. This kind of sucks. Came all this way to come see the wetlands, and uh, they've got the area closed off. So uh, I don't know. We'll see if we can find another area, another way around. How is that for a maple girl, guys? I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain how big that thing is, but. Sorry guys, we're just taking a quick a quick little water break here. And uh, while I was here, I just wanted to give you a quick talk about some of my clothes. I figured we we're gonna start with the hat. So the hat that I'm wearing is a uh, Tilly. It's a Tilly hat. The model number is TH4. It's a, uh, it's a hat made out of hemp. I figured that would be pretty durable because I'm, uh, I'm kind of a, a beast when it comes to, comes to my clothing. I tend to beat the crap out of them. But the, uh, the hat is uh, very comfortable. It comes with some really cool features. It's got some um, you know, brass rivets on either side, some grommets, I guess, to uh, let the heat out. And um, it's extremely comfortable. And the, thing, the best thing about it is on these extremely hot days like today, and when the sun's just shining down on you, it really, keeps the, uh, it really keeps the sun off my face. Like you can see most of my face, I'm facing into the sun right now. Most of my face is in shade right now, which is pretty nice. It's got a three and a half inch uh, uh, brim. And it gets to be about, I think it's like two inches on the side or two and a half inches or three inches on the side. And then again, a, a large brim in the back. So it covers up the back of your neck quite well. And uh, surprisingly enough, it lets the air through to cool your head off quite easily. But when it rains, it keeps the rain off your head. I don't know how it does it, but it's uh, pretty impressive. And uh, I've never I've never been a fan of one of these hats before. I always found it, you know, it's like an old man's hat or whatever it is. But uh, I picked this guy up. I was walking through Sale looking for a hat to keep the sun off me. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Sale's like, a, um, like an outdoor superstore, kind of similar to Cabela's or Bass Pro. But um, I ended up going to get this, uh, pick, to pick up a hat, and uh, I saw these were on sale. This was normally $89 Canadian, and uh, I was able to pick it up for $30, $38 or something. So I got it ridiculously cheap, and uh, I picked it up, and uh, I've been extremely happy with it for now. Um, really love the hat. And it's actually key to keeping yourself uh, keeping yourself warm, um, cool, and uh, without without having your this, your face getting attacked by the sun. And uh, so far, uh, I'm I'm a big fan of it. So um, so that's the hat. Here's an interesting little game trail. I don't know if the camera's picking it up all that well, but. You can see something's been walking through there, making a nice little path. Sorry guys, the shirt I'm wearing today is called the Columbia PFG, which stands for uh, Performance Fishing Gear. The uh, It's called the Bahama 2, this shirt. It's a very good uh, and comfortable shirt. Material super soft on the skin and it wicks water to, uh, water away from it like you would not believe. Uh, we're walking around, it's close to, th it's a, it is 30 degrees today. And just to give you an idea, um, you don't see any 
very little sweat marks, almost nothing on my shirt. Uh, we've been hiking around in and out of the sun the whole time, uh, carrying a backpack. So my back should be soaking wet, but I don't think it's too bad. How does it look, Will? There's nothing. There's nothing, eh? Right down the bottom, yeah. There's a tiny little bit of sweat on the shirt and the back, but if I take this off and I walk around a little bit, um, the uh, the um, the the sweat will evaporate off my body uh, extremely quick. Uh, so it is a quick dry uh, shirt or material that's uh, extremely comfortable. It also at the back, I don't know if you can see it on the sides here, but on the sides are these little vents and baffles. See if I can get open one up for you there. There's one there, and it's also right at the bottom. Yeah, it opens up as well. So you've got uh, breeze coming in from the sides and the bottom as you walk, which also helps keep you cool. Uh, not so much if you have a backpack on, unfortunately, but it does. Uh, the shirt as a whole keeps you cool and keeps you dry, even in humid, hot weather like it is today. Uh, let's say, for example, you're out uh, fishing and um, you don't have much room or you can't carry a big uh, tackle box out with you or whatever it is, and you basically got a couple of lures stuck in your pocket uh, inside of a small case and you want to uh, tie on a lure. But what you can do is, let's take this off here. What you can do is you have this little piece here that you could fold over and it'll hold your rod for you while you're tying things up or you're tying things up on your uh, on your line or tying your lures on or your fly fishing or whatever it is it'll hold your rod up for you while you got your rod sitting on your rock or on a shoe while you're tying tying on your uh, your lures which is pretty cool now for for those of you who've been fishing in remote areas where you don't have that much room to uh, to move around and take care of things like that you realize how handy it is to be able to have an extra hand uh, a hand close by when you don't want to drop your your uh, your rod right in the water and have it go away or or um, if it's if you're fishing on the hill and you don't want your rod to slide down the fall down the hill or whatever it is that little thing is a lifesaver um, these shirts are pretty good uh, pretty comfortable uh, although they do come with a with a price tag of around 42 44 dollars Canadian depending on where you buy it I also have another model of these it's called the Columbia PFG uh, blood and guts it has some kind of resistance to uh, getting uh, you know when you're cleaning fish and whatnot uh, getting blood and stuff like that uh, to stain your shirt uh, this one is a short sleeve model my blood and guts is a long sleeve model and a slightly different color but uh, I so far have been out in uh, 40 degrees uh, with both these shirts and uh, they actually kept me pretty comfortable as comfortable as you can be in 40 degrees Celsius which is somewhere around uh, I guess 103, 107 degrees, something around there. I'll put that right up here, uh, the exact uh, conversion of it for you, for my buddies down there, down south who don't know the Celsius. But um, since I've switched these shirts, I've been extremely comfortable outside. Uh, the only thing I will say is that the mosquitoes can kind of get through it, so you got to make sure that you treat your uh, you treat your shirt, but um, before you head out. But besides that, it's uh, extremely comfortable and uh, keeps you cool, keeps you dry. And uh, there's not much more you can ask for uh, for a shirt that you're going to take out adventure and you're fishing or, or hiking or camping, that kind of thing. Um, and considering how good it is at wicking uh, wetness from you, you could actually use this as a base layer, I would imagine, to keep the, keep the water off of you. And that's something I will be testing in winter next year. Uh, I'll wear my blood and guts with my wool sweater over it and uh, put that under my, um, under my North Face jacket and we'll see how that goes. But so far, so good. 30 degrees on a, on a plus size model walking around on the trails and we're somewhere around three, uh, three kilometers, three and a half kilometers in and I'm still pretty dry. So even in my armpits, you can see I'm not even, I should have big sweat wearings and everything like that and I'm good. So two thumbs up for the Columbia, for the Columbia Bahama too. guys the pants that I'm wearing today are pants that you could buy at Costco for <laughs> for a ridiculously great price at uh, I think it's around $24 Canadian uh, they're called uh, BC outdoor cargo pants I'll give you a quick look at those in a second but um, if you go back and you look at my um, 
at my uh, shout out to Maritime Spook while he was doing a, uh, it was a VR I think, he was doing a uh, giveaway and I made a video where I crossed uh, a beaver dam and uh, all that stuff but while I was shooting that video, I believe it was that video, I actually fell through the ice. Uh, it was in March or so and I fell through the ice um, on one of the trails where the, uh, the four wheelers have dug these big trenches in there and it frozen over. We were walking through and it was fine and I fell through the ice and it sunk right up to my crotch and uh, I was out with my buddy Jesse and we were talking like, oh geez, should we just split, take off, take off out of here? And I was like, no, no, let's see, let's uh, give it a little bit more walk and we'll see how it is. And if I need to, uh, to dry off, I'll, you know, if we need to go home, I'll go home. But um, I was probably, I was dry in about 20 minutes with those pants. They drew, they dried out like this and I'm wearing those today. These are actually a new pair. I found them at Costco again. Uh, but I've got uh, three more other pairs at home um, <laughs> that are just about wore out now and I've had those for about two, two and a half years of uh, pretty hard bush use. But I'm going to go ahead and show you these ones, some of the features that they have and uh, they're really great. Right at the top they come with, they come with a, like a little uh, buckle with a um, quick release on them for the, for the waistband. You've got a nice deep pocket on one side and a nice deep pocket on the other. And on the right hand side, you have another zipper pocket right behind it where you can keep things where you don't have to worry about them falling out. Small items, um, you know, your, your keys and uh, whatnot. Um, change, pocket change, uh, uh, compass if you have one, something, something small that you need to protect. So on the other side, you have a nice zipper pocket right here where you can put uh, larger items that you need to, to protect, like a wallet or whatever. Um, in here, where I have my, my wallet, is my big dump pouch. It's uh, got nice Velcro uh, fittings for those. And that you to, can pretty much fit anything. To keep things, uh, keep things uh, nice and protected. On the other side, you got a couple of spots for uh, markers or pens or uh, bow drill uh, spindles, for example. Um, you got an exterior pocket to put smaller items in, and a larger dump pocket that you can put other items in. And I got my uh, my my lens cap in there for now. But on the back end. Show you my butt. They've got two um, two pockets. Velcro pockets too. Nice pockets, nice deep pockets, and these are convertible pants, so you can remove the legs if you need to, or just open it up to let a little more air inside, or not. But, uh, if you're ever in the market for something to uh, really keep the heat off of you on those really sunny, hot days, you know, a Tilly hat, something like this may help you out. Um, I highly recommend the. Uh, the uh, Columbia shirts, although they, they do tend to come with a bit of a price tag, but the performance they give you uh, work pretty well. And uh, as for the um, the BC Outdoors pants that you can buy at Costco, I super highly recommend them. Uh, I'm kind of rough on my clothes anyway. I mean, I'm always running through the bush, bushwhacking, tearing things up. And uh, I had actually had a pair of pants, uh, three pairs of pants actually. I had uh, one charcoal gray, one, uh, one khaki color, and one... Um, and uh, one OD green or or dark green uh, lasts me for two and a half years of uh, really quite a bit of use of, and, and a, use and abuse will even go as far as saying and uh, they last me for a long time but uh, these are the clothes that I tend to wear uh, I guess one thing to be said is it's always uh, fast drying clothes that I, tem I tend to wear uh, I am a heavy sweater and uh, I highly recommend uh, these clothes I mean they really do a, a great job so guys, I just wanted to share with you, uh, you know what I what I'm what I'm wearing nowadays when I'm going out in the woods uh, on these really really hot days. I know I've showed my cold weather gear before, um, and it works great. But um, I am a natural fiber guy at heart for the most part. But uh, buying wool is extremely expensive. I was going to buy like a a, a thin knit uh, merino wool uh, shirt to wear out on a day like today. I'd be uh, it would cost me eighty ninety dollars just for one shirt, and. Uh, it's just way too expensive for me, me personally. But um, when we're looking at these guys, I mean, I'm looking at uh, if I spent thirty bucks from uh, thirty-four dollars from my hat, uh, forty dollars, forty-two dollars from my shirt, and uh, another twenty-four dollars from my pants. I'm right near the hundred uh, the hundred dollar mark. I'm maybe a little bit more, but it's not the end of the world. But uh, the um, the pants that I'm wearing, my BC Outdoor pants, they're really really comfortable. They're super comfortable. In fact, they got a little bit of stretch to them too. So when you're when you're walking and you're and you're uh, jumping up and down on things, they don't bind up on you. They don't stick to you because of the material. It's also very soft and comfortable on the skin. 
Uh, same goes for the uh, for the Bahama 2 shirt. Um, uh, to my knowledge, I believe they've got uh, Columbia's got a few of these, uh, a few of these uh, models. They've got the Bahama 2, they've got the Bonehead, they've got uh, uh, the Blood and Guts, and they've got the Tamiami. Um, you'll have to read up on them. The one thing I will say about the Bahama 2 and the and the bone uh, the Bahama 2 uh, it tends to be a little bit bigger than what you'd think. Normally, I wear a triple X. This one's a double X, and I've got plenty of room in here. Plenty, plenty of room. You can see I got I can pull this right out. I got all kinds of room. So, um, but having the extra room is actually pretty comfortable. Let some more air in, air fly in, and it's more flowy on the body, and uh, less uh, chance of it sticking to you if you do happen to get wet. But um, I mean, right now we've been hiking around for a good couple of hours, and I'm bone dry, bone dry. Even my hat, my hat's uh, not too bad. I'm a little bit damp on the hair, but it's not so bad considering. Uh, it's a uh, 30 something degrees and we've been roaming around outside all day long and we're still pretty uh, still pretty uh, comfortable. So guys, don't forget, in the comments below I'd like to hear about what you guys wear on these really brutal hot days uh, and how you try to keep yourself cool while you're out on the trails. And uh, and if it actually gives you any protection from mosquitoes. So, just want to thank you guys all for watching. You guys get out and explore. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.